here we have it. We have a new addition to the camping setup. The Bushwhacker Extreme Darkness 270 degree freestanding awning. Pretty basic. So out with the old and in with the new. So the old King's awning. Um, I use that quite a lot. I actually used it that much where I wore it out. And for the money you pay for that thing, I mean, that's awesome. Awesome money. Um, it started getting ripped in it and almost, you know, it was unusable in the end. But this thing is game changer. You can do this thing all by yourself. You don't need any help from anybody else. And um, I'll open it up and give you a bit of a demo. Now, as you can see, it comes with these ratchet straps. These things are really cool. So basically, you hook it on here, and you just pull and come around on the camera this side. So, just hook it on the side here. You've got like a little, little button you push there, and that sort of releases the, uh, the tension, but when you let it go, you can pull it in. So, I've actually sure got it clipped to me roof rack on the other side there. Give that a good pull tight. Anyway, walking around the other side. I've already got the ratchet straps on here to save a bit of time. So, hook her up here. And now, another cool feature about this thing got two inbuilt lights. I'll plug those in in a second and um, I'll show what they look like. So this thing actually comes with one pole. Um, this thing here. So this is the one pole. You can use it if you want to. But I like to use them when you start getting rain um, in case it builds up and starts to cool up and put uh, forces down on top of it. So I'll put it on there. It's starting to rain now. So anyway. Um, just start just camp here. I've already run the wires for this thing, so these things just plug into here. One there, another one there. And I've actually got that wire running all the way behind the fridge and, and there's a 12 volt socket there, so I'll plug it in. I think that might be there. Um, oh, wrong, wrong switch, wrong plug. This one. There you go. So it's got two lights. You got three different colours. So you can have them all on uh, orange light if you want. Keep the bugs away, apparently. Now another cool thing. I retired my old awning. It's the old King's awning. But what I've done is I took the poles off it and. I can put them on here. So what I've done, the old King's awning port poles here. So basically what I did is to make them fit, I had to grind the sides down, probably about two mil each side. So I grounded the sides two mil each side on these poles here because they're a little bit wider on the King's ones. So I've got them to fit the, um, the Bushwhacker awning. So I've added two poles, another one here. Don't have to use them, but I'm going to use them just to show for the demo. Same thing again, I had to grind that down and make it fit. Um, that's it, really. Yeah, the King's awning, you had to sometimes use two people because the poles would start bending. You know, it was easier to use two people, but this thing here, can't be built on your own. So, the Bushwhacker. Yeah, for the money, I think I paid about 1600 bucks for it. It's good value for money for what it is. It's probably in about the mediocre range and um, it's doing the job. Apparently, they're using a different material than the last model. It's a bit thicker and um, seems to be a bit more durable. Apparently, you can buy a big wall that goes around on this Velcro here. It's got like windows and doors, but to me, that's just a big bag you've got to carry around. 
I'd rather sort of not worry about that. Um, other than that, yeah, the Bushbacker. Bushbacker Extreme Darkness. So go out and check them out. All good.